Hello Year 6. Welcome back to my living room library. Today I want to share with you two picture books and I've chosen these two picture books because I think they have something to do with how you, we express ourselves for your UOI this term. And I'm going to read them one after the other. I'm not going to ask you any questions. I'm just wanting you to think because when I post these videos on Google Classroom, I'm going to ask you to make a comment. It can be a private comment or it can be a comment that's shared among the whole class. But please, I would really appreciate if you made a comment. I know some people made a very good comment to the last story that I posted for you that was just for fun called The Serious Goose. But this one, I would like a comment. So the first one's called Bob the Artist. And you can see here's Bob on the front cover. Bob the Artist. What a beautiful day for a walk on my fine legs says Bob. Please notice up in the corner, we have a bat. Eek! Look at those skinny legs, says Cat. Ooh, look at that funny stick walk, says Owl. Ooh, how puny your legs are, cried the other birds. This teasing made Bob very sad. Bob's skinny legs. Then Bob had an idea. Jim, I'll exercise my legs bigger. So that's exactly what Bob did. He tried many different exercises. But that did not work. Restaurant, I know, I'll eat my legs bigger. So Bob ate and ate and ate. But that did not work. Bob's legs didn't get bigger, but his belly certainly did. His next plan was simple, fashion. I'll dress up to hide my legs. Mm. But he just felt ridiculous. Bob went for a long walk to an art gallery. I'm wondering if you recognize any of the paintings. Bob was inspired. Bob had a brilliant idea. He got his paints out and started to color his beak. On Monday, he painted like Matisse in beautiful, colorful patterns. Ooh, how exquisite, a genius, incredible, such daring, amazing color, stupendous, brilliant, a work of art, said Owl. On Tuesdays, Bob painted his beak in bright splatters like the painter Jackson Pollock. Wow, what an incredible beat, said Cat. And so, now every day, Bob paints his beak in a different way. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 
Bob loves showing off his wonderful beak designs. He doesn't worry about his skinny legs anymore. In fact, he's rather proud of them. And sometimes Bob even likes to have his beak red. What an elegant walk, said Owl. Great legs, said Cat. How minimal, said his friend Bat. Now, what do you guys think the author, Marion Duchars, is trying to tell us in the story Bob the Artist? Distraction, maybe? All right, now I have another book by the same author, Marion Duchars, called Bob's Blue Period. Bob's Blue Period. Bob and Bat are best friends. Remember, I mentioned Bat in the first book. They do everything together. And best of all, they love painting. But one day, Bob couldn't find Bat anywhere, only a note. Dear Bob, I'm so sorry, but I must go away for a while. Your best friend, Bat. Bob felt lost without his best friend. Maybe I'll do some painting, said Bob. So he painted a banana, a blue banana. He painted an orange, a blue orange. He painted a tree, a blue tree. In fact, Everything he painted, he painted blue. There was a big blue hole where Bat used to be. Owl and Cat came to have their portraits painted. Where's Bat? What happened to all the colors? Whispered the birds. Brrrr, shuttered Owl. Cat put on his nice new hat and tie. I'm ready, he said nervously. So Bob painted Cat. Can you predict what's Cat gonna look like? Exactly, blue. Oh dear, guess it's my turn, said Owl. So Bob painted Owl. And what color is owl? You're right, blue. Everything Bob painted was blue. Bob missed Bat so much that his whole world was turning blue. What to do, hooted owl. We have got to do something, shouted the birds. They had an idea, Bob. There is something you have got to see. And grabbing him, they ran for the door. Owl, oh, out into the night they went. Where are we going? Said Bob. Are we there yet? Very blue. They reached the top of the hill just as the sun was rising. Wow, who painted that? Bob had forgotten how many beautiful colors there are in the world. Excited but very tired, Bob went home to sleep. His dreams were full of color. When Bob woke up, he felt so different. And just then, a postcard dropped through the letterbox. Dear Bob, I've had a very long sleep in a lovely damp, dark cave. 
I really missed you, but now I feel better, and I'm on my way home. Your best friend, Bat. Bat is coming home, cried Bob. And he opened the door, and there was Bat. Did you get my card? asked Bat. All the friends had a big party to celebrate Bat's return. Welcome home, Bat. Now Bob's world is full of color again. He paints grass green, he paints oranges orange, and his bananas are... Well, who said you can't paint your bananas any color you like? I quite liked your blue period set back. Okay, so that's the end of the two books about Bob the Artist and Bob's Blue Period. And I'm going to post these on Google Classroom and I will have a question for you to answer. I hope you enjoyed these picture books. All right, be well and be good, year six. Bye.